to the line now. The number one qualifier, Roger Brogdon and Jason Line. Mike, you said you had clutch controller problems that kind of haunted you in the opening event two weeks ago, the Winter Nationals. Everything appears to be right on track today. Any concerns going into the final? Um, no, definitely going better, you know, this this weekend for us. But, no, it's been, you know, going down the track, and that was pretty warm. That was a warm track right there. Might start to cool off a little bit. So, uh, no, feel good. Cruz is running good, but... You know, this Castle 4 is running good, too, so it should be a good race. Unfortunately for Mike Neff, by two thousandths of a second, he will not have lane choice. I got to believe the lane choice is a bigger factor than the fuel cars are a bigger factor for the pro stock cars than the fuel cars because, as we said, everybody takes right-hand lane, and pro stock looks for a better starting line. They like the better grip off of the launch to help with the car, with fuel cars like a little bit better track uh, down the racetrack, and it seems to be relatively even. We look at for the fuel cars. Now, we look at for pro stock, wins by lane. The right lane is 11 to 2, and basically, I think it really has a lot to do with how they launch the car in that left-hand lane if they want to make a good run from there. Roger Brogdon's your number one qualifier, but he lost lane choice to Jason Lyon from the previous round because Jason went nine thousandths of a second quicker to get that lane choice. You got to be on your game when you're running against Jason Lyon now. He runs a 654, 212. Comes off the line about twice as fast as Roger Brogdon did. Combine all that, you've got to win, and he's into the finals, looking to go back-to-back -back finals. Start of the season. Well, you go on board with Roger. Sound like he let the clutch out, and it just bogged when he did that. And, uh, obviously, it was uh, did not go the way he wanted to, to go. Don't know what happened at that point, but Jason Lyon was long gone after the green light came on. And so Pro Stock's final matchup is going to look this way, and Jason Line. And the guy that just slapped the top of his car, Greg Anderson. Jason will have lane choice.